Have you ever wondered what the most offensive question that I may have been asked as a tutor is? If so, that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna tell you guys about the most offensive question I've ever been asked, one of the funniest, oddest questions I've ever gotten. One of the most common questions that I get from people that's kind of impossible to answer. Another question that comes up sometimes on my YouTube, which I find totally terrible and mean, and a few other questions as well. If you're wondering who I am, my name is Brooke. I've been a tutor for over a decade and a half. I've created an online course for the SAT and the ACT, which you can check out at supertutortv.com. I've helped students prep to perfect scores on both of those exams. We have a couple of books on the ACT math section. Definitely check those out. Subscribe to our mailing list at supertutortv.com slash subscribe to keep in the know of everything we've got going on here and follow us on social. We are now on TikTok, FYI, join us there. Subscribe to our channel, of course. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. We have the best subscribers ever because you guys are like overachievers and you're gonna be the leaders of tomorrow. Tomorrow. Anyhow, props to you. You guys are awesome. Keep watching. Okay, most offensive questions. So the most offensive question, I think, and I've got like several offensive questions, by the way. We're gonna just like spool them out here. The most offensive question that I think I get as a tutor is, will you write my paper for me? I hate this question. I think I've actually even stated this in another one of my videos. I hate it when people ask me to write their essays for them. And whether it's a college essay, which I sometimes get, will you write my college essay for me? I'm gonna give you the outline, you write it. That really annoys me. I hate that question. The other question that I hate is like, I have a final paper to do. Will you just write it for me? That one's like really offensive. I hate that. Just because I'm not Mother Teresa doesn't mean that I like am gonna want to cheat and lie. And it doesn't mean that like, just because I'm a tutor doesn't mean like I'm all about the profit or I'm all just like, oh yeah, like just order up your paper. It's just so offensive and I hate it. The other question that I hate, and I don't get this one every year, but I have gotten it before is will you tutor me during my take home final? No, I don't wanna help you with your take home final. That's not the point of tutoring. The point of tutoring is to help teach you so you can go do the test on your own. Not so I can do your, your assessments for you. The third offensive question, I've never actually been asked in person, I don't think, but I get it on YouTube from haters on YouTube. And I really, this question is super offensive also if you want to offend me. And that is, if you went to Stanford, why are you a tutor? Or if you went to Stanford, why are you a tutor on YouTube? Implying that being a tutor on YouTube is like somehow not good enough or not a respectable job or somehow there's something wrong with me. I'm gonna answer that one. And the answer is there was a time when I was working in the entertainment industry and that was my quote unquote passion and what I was really excited about and what I was determined to do and I was willing to spend hours upon hours. I could lose sleep, I could sleep 20 hours a week and like drive myself crazy and do everything humanly possible to try to become a movie director or producer or, or maker of some sort in Hollywood, right? That was my original goal. And I was doing that, but I found that in that field that I wasn't always appreciated, that the way people treat each other, that there is a culture problem, and that there just wasn't the same kind of appreciation that I got when I worked with students. When I worked with students, I was appreciated. And at the same time, I found the relationships that I built with people really rewarding because I found that a lot of people don't like standardized tests. A lot of people are stressed out about the college admissions process. And a lot of people are like going crazy in this process. And I could step in and be a mentor and tell people, hey guys, hey everybody out there, you know, I know you're really worried about getting into college and all this stuff, but what will be will be. Things are gonna work out. There is a path for you. And it might not be the original path that you had planned, but whatever path that you're on, you're gonna find the truth that you wanna find if you set your mind to it and if you figure it out. And it's going to be okay. And you don't have to go to a top 10 school. You don't have to go to a top 20 school to be an awesome human being. There are a lot of ways to be an awesome human being. And that's kind of what I said about entertainment. As I said, you know what? There's a lot of great ways to be creative. There's a lot of great ways to entertain people. I can entertain people and educate them at the same time. Hey. What's going on, subscribers? I can use my talents and my skills and all of that stuff and I can whip them together and I can fill a gap I see in the marketplace rather than espouse what I think I should be in my perfect ideation of myself. And I thought, you know, if I can help share the things that I share with the 1% with like a tiny schism of the world, right, as an expensive private tutor, if I can take what I know from that and I can share that with hundreds of thousands of people, which is what we do on our channel, I thought that would be kind of cool. 
and that I would be doing something that if I didn't do it, maybe nobody else would. And if I didn't share some of the ideas that I had, that maybe no one else would, at least not for free. And that's why I started this channel and that's why I'm here. And that's why I tutor. So if you're wondering, there's my answer to that question. The funniest question I ever got was I once had a student contact me on Craigslist. This is back in the day when I used to advertise on Craigslist. I don't advertise on Craigslist anymore, but I did for a little while. And he wanted me to come to take an SAT with him on the same day that he took the SAT because he wanted someone to calm him down over the breaks because he had panic attacks in the middle of the test. And I was like, um, I don't think that's a good idea because if someone like me, hey, hello, tutor, is talking to a teenager over the breaks consistently, it's gonna look bad and they might think that you're cheating or something. Like, they're probably thinking I'm fishing you answers or something of the like. So I reassured the student that it's gonna be okay. And he can take the test multiple times and he'll be all right. And, and it's probably a bad idea to invite me, but let me know if I can help you otherwise. And then the frequently asked question, the most often question that I get from people is how many points am I going to improve after I tutor with you? Everybody loves to ask this question without telling me, have you done any prep already? What's your score on the SAT? What are your grades in school? Like literally with no input. I have no idea what kind of human being you are, what prep you've done, who you are, what you've done, what your score is. I know nothing in the world. And then they're like, how much can you help me improve? I have no idea, okay? If you tell me nothing, I can give you nothing. Now, if you give me those other factors, I might be able to intuit a little bit of ranges of what's typical, what's atypical, but I can't tell you how much you are going to improve because every student is literally different. I have one student who's really struggling to get her SAT reading score up and she's stuck kind of in the high 600s. And the reason that she's so stuck is that her English vocabulary understanding is she's really not good at nuance. So. Even though she knows a lot of words, she kind of knows a definition that's not very precise. And so then when you get all of these precise definition questions, it's just like, oh my gosh, it's so hard for her. And how do I reteach her every word in the English language with precision, with context? Like, that's a lot to ask. And then I have other students and they start at a 550 and they just keep climbing and keep climbing. And then all of a sudden, you know, they've got like a 740 or something on the test. And that's great, right? Sometimes on the ACT, I'll see people's ACT reading score. I had one kid and saw his ACT reading score went up five or six points overnight because we had one lesson, right? That sometimes happens, but it doesn't always happen, right? So I, I can never answer that question, but it's kind of a question that I get. Other questions, the most common ACT question I get is how do I read faster? And I've got two videos for that. One, I've got a how to map the passage video for the ACT and I've got another video which is how to speed read. Check them out if that's your question. Most common SAT related question that I get but is so vague is how do I improve my reading comprehension score? Like at least on the ACT, you guys all know you're too slow, but on the SAT, people don't understand why they're having issues and they always feel like there's two right answers and you guys like sit there and you're like, but they both seem right and you have no idea how to approach it. And I can't answer that in one fell swoop, but I do the best that I can in our online course. But in any case, I can't tell you the answer to that in like a line or two. It's just too much. But watch our YouTube channel and join our online course and then maybe I can get to the bottom of that with you. Anyhow, there's some questions from me. Now you all know how to offend me or get your comment deleted off our YouTube. Hopefully you won't though. You guys are the best subscribers ever as I always like to say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and ask your questions below. What questions do you want to ask me as a tutor Put them in the comments below and maybe we can make a video to answer some of your questions soon. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.